the Rose Bowl, located in an area that was once dominated by an unruly barranca, it is now an area of recreation for the city and the location of one of the most famous sports arenas in the world. It is the home of the top-ranked UCLA Bruins, who today will meet the Washington State Cougars in Pac-10 conference action. The Bruins are 4-0 in the Pac-10 standings. USC, the other unbeaten. Washington State, 1-3 in the Pac-10. 4-3 overall, so all of their losses have been in the conference. Kirk Maggio will kick it off for the UCLA Bruins. Beautiful day. It was expected to be cool and rainy-like, but it turned out to be a lovely day in Southern California. And the game is on. Kickoff, Amadio. Oh my gosh, don't bring it out of there. <laughs> I thought for a minute he was going to come six yards deep. Tim Rosenball, and they work out of a single back offense. Rich Swinton, who grew up in Canoga Park in the San Fernando Valley, is the lone remaining back. They have tripped to the bottom of the screen and they run it. With Swinton, who had 193 yards last week against Arizona State, and he picks up seven on that carry. So this is the way the Cougars line up offensively. Rosenbaum, the quarterback. Stallworth and Wood with Wimberley wideouts. Pelham plays a lot out there, too. Here are the big people that make this offense go. Well set, Husby, Mahalchik, Nakamai, Utley, and Dyko. Second and three. Pretty good offensive front. Second down and three now for Washington State. And here's your first move by the quarterback. Pass is dropped down in the middle, caught for the tight end, well sent, and Washington State has a first down at midfield. Now for UCLA, and they're good ones. Lotus, Waller, and Mayer are the down people up front with Lake, Johnson, Davis, and Smith. That's about as good a core linebackers as you're going to find. Kenley, Turner, Darby, and Turner. That's Eric and Marcus. That is an outstanding defensive secondary. They really run to the ball. Rosenbaugh throws it down. Is caught by Stallworth and Stallworth, a 5'11, 170 pound junior, got a first down at the UCLA 32 yard line. They're moving the ball, and a whistle stops them. That's motion, that's what it is. So, all right, they take the five yard penalty, back them up to first and 15, and Rosenbaugh throws very quickly. He's always looking for the hot receiver. Second and four. Second down and four. Give the ball to Swinton, and Swinton is brought down by Kent Johnson, the inside linebacker. It is third down at about five, a loss on that previous play, and they send Kingstad in motion now. Rosenball, a little quick pop, and the pass is incomplete to Stallworth. This is Jason Hansen, a freshman from Spokane now, out of the hold of Rob Myers, going for a... 43, 44 yard field goal, and again, penalty flags on the whistle stop them before they can go. Well, UCLA jump, this may be a first down. Again, the Cougars are dinged. They're going to still go for the field goal from 48 yards now. 48. Wind is not a factor. Got enough leg on it. Oh, he split it. So, Jason Hansen shows a leg. The freshman hits one from 48 yards. That is his longest ever. UCLA jumped in front of Washington State behind the leg of Alfredo Velasco, who hit field goals from 47 and 23 yards out late in the first quarter and early in the second to give the Bruins a 6-3 lead. We rejoin the game with 9.13 to go on the half. UCLA has the ball on the Washington State 42, first down and 10 after a Cougar punt. That's a gotcha. Season ain't over. <laughs> UCLA back. Aikman looks deep. Goes down the pipe. That is man. 25 yard line. No good, they say now. Ball is back in at tailback. Good throw, good catch by Mike Farr, out of bounds, down at the, from the 28. Toy is in a pullback for the Bruins now, Nora Toy. Aikman throwing again. Keating makes the catch on the sidelines. David, a junior. Eric Ball, inside the five, and... Second and goal for the Bruins from the Cougar four. Aikman rolls it out. 
Dunn going to go for it himself and just misses the corner. We've got Eric Ball now back in there behind us. Estwick. Touchdown, UCLA. gets a good snap and the kick is good. At 7.49 to go in the first half. UCLA Bruins now lead by 10. With UCLA still leading Washington State 13-3, we pick up the action late in the first half after a Bruin timeout. His first and goal, Washington State 8-yard line. And Aikman the offensive load so far today for the Bruins sets up. Gives it to Eric Ball. Eric Ball. And Ball gets to the four-yard line. On second and goal from the four. Ball again. Eric Ball. Don't give it to him. Out of bounds on the one-yard line. He steps up into a slot. Give it to Aikman. Keeps it. Throws it. Back of the end zone. Touchdown. Thompson. Danny Thompson is a senior. Has not played very much because of all the other tailbacks. A nice fake into the line of scrimmage to the lower right of your screen. Thompson, number 15, catches his third pass of the season. Ben. And he does. 2-15 to play in the first half. That is the eighth different receiver to catch at Aikman pass. All right, Maggio kicks it off, and Kirk really nails this one way up in the air, and that affords Victor you good Wood. coverage. Victor Wood, number 13, looking for a track. And he gets a little, but... Down the middle, got a man. Pass good to the 40-yard line, caught by Tim Stallworth. Cougars coming quickly now. First down at the 40, Rosenball. Got some green grass in front of him, so he'll take off. Dives for the marker, and a penalty flag. And a... It's against the Bruin defender. Personal foul. Now he calls his play and goes on to center. And tripped up. Number 66. I thought these guys might be going up and down the field for a while. They haven't. Rosen ball with that option. Turns it in the middle. Yeah, takes off. Ball. And inside the 30. They'll mark him at the 29. They see how they set up. They throw a three-man down. Rosen ball back very quickly. Bingo sidelines. And it's good. Caught by a column and uh, the Lord's first down at the UCLA 21. 127 to go, first half. Got a hurry. Boy, there comes that outside speed. Way from never sees it coming. That time it is Eric Smith. They're backed up now to the UCLA 34, where it's third down. And they've got to go to the 11, so they need 23 yards. Rosenball's pass, got a man over there. The ball is underthrown and incomplete. Henson is in now. He had a 48-yarder. This one is a 51-yard try. One 51-yarder. A lot of leg. Oh, good. Woo. UCLA 20, the Washington State six. Cougars have been used to. They're usually scoring touchdowns. Well, some of the fun at halftime there. As we get ready to go with the second half, big field goals for the Cougars, 48 and 51 yards. Keeps that kickoff low, though. It's at the, about a yard deep in the end zone. Sean Wills getting a chance to run with it, and he can run. First down, first snap of the second half. Aikman, been busy today. Shoots it to the sideline. The pass is good to Randy Austin. Second down and four. 
And the fullback, Eastwood, gets it and picks up a first down for the Bruins. First down, Bruins. Eric Ball. Big hole left side. And Eric Ball explodes to the Washington State for his six. For nearly 11 minutes and about scoring the Cougars 17 to 3. And Aikman now on first down. Looks to load it up. Throws it low and they'll give a catch. I want him with his feet under him. Oh, sure. You don't, you don't aim to throw it low, but if anything, you throw it from the, from the shoulders down, not any higher. There's a little swing out, set up the screen out here, and it was a little bit slow developing. There <laughs> nine straight completions for Aikman. Gives the ball to Ball. Big hole on that side again. And Eric Ball is inside the 20, and a penalty flag. You just cannot do this. You cannot. All right, the penalty tacked on puts UCLA first and goal just inside the Cougar nine. And they're running the ball well to start the second half as Eric Ball blows it in. Touchdown. Good, tough running. And Velasco. Right on the money. So, the opening possession. And UCLA bounds out. 27 to 6 lead. Here. Sure, this Bruin defense is much tough. Great speed. That's a high, high kickoff. And it goes to Victor Wood. And Wood gets back to the 21, and that's all. Rosenbaugh comes up now. He's 9 out of 14 for 114 yards. Hands the ball off to Swinton, who bounces to the outside, gets a good gain on the play, and will have a first down. They miss it. Goes Swinton again. And he gets three yards up to the 35. Going to run it again. And Swinton works his way up. He's not going to be able to leave the ball hanging in the air, uh, which is something I've, I've tried to work on in practice this week. A lot of zip, a lot more zip on uh, passes. And uh, just happy with a clean football. Steps up. First down, 46-yard line. For the play action fake. Looks down the middle. Late getting it there, but it's complete. And Stallworth slides away in a penalty flag. Might be a face mask, and it is, and it's against UCLA. And he's now past 2,000 yards on the season. Formation call from the sideline. There's that little quick pop, and it's caught. Brought in by number 36, Elmer Thomas. The sack and made a positive play. Swinton back into the ball game, tries to go on the left side, fumbles the football. Down under there somewhere. I think he's got it between his legs. They're fighting over it. Very strong block. On third down. They go with a run, and Swinton is going to have the first down. So first down, Cougars just short of the Bruins, 15 yard line. Rosenbaugh ran into number 60, Mike Utley, that time. He tried to slide behind him. Second down. Nine. Rosenbaugh down the middle. Stallworth at the five to the goal line. Touchdown. He's a fighter. Harold <laughs> Hindley came flying in there and all. Oh, she's got a piece of that. The kick is good. Here for the here as he fights away from the five, and he got the last five on his own. 27-13. I'll show you the replay of it, and it could have been called down short. But it wasn't. The kickoff, Goodwin back into the end zone, and they're going to come with it. It is Sean Will. Sean gets a chance to run a little, and he's going to take that chance, but this time it was probably poor judgment. Because Number 81 is in there playing quite a bit today, coming off of an injured knee. Aikman's going to throw it. Troy goes down the middle to Arbuckle, and he is brought down just at the 20. Second and four, it's Eric Ball. 
Cuts it back inside. Big hole for it. Drops the ball. Cougars may have it. Yes, they do. So the Bruins turn it over. Just short of the 40. We wide out. Bottom of the picture. Clinton goes to the top. That's four wideouts, and Rosenbaugh takes off down the sideline. And they give him the first down. Rosenbaugh's pass is incomplete. Intended for Victor Wood. Second and ten. Got some heat this time. Gets loose. He's got another first down. So both quarterbacks running a lot today. Bruins 13-yard line, first down Cougars. Swinton pops a tackle, and if he kept his balance, he's in the end zone, but he didn't. Second down at about three. Swinton again, and touchdown, Cougars. So they answer right back. Hanson's kick. Good. Good. At 6.45 to go in the third quarter, it's now a 27-20 UCLA lead. With UCLA still leading 27-20, we move ahead to late in the third quarter. Washington State has the ball on their own 16, first down and 10 after a UCLA punt. Here comes Swinton. From the 16 to the 19. Second down, seven. It's a good situation. Here they come. There he goes. Whoa, I'll say there he goes. Nobody back there. Touchdown. No flag. Yard touchdown for Tim Stallworth. Can't show you beat that that far ahead of time to have established a very good quarterback. Hanson's kick is good, and with 12 seconds to play in the third quarter, you've got a tie ball game. Top ranked UCLA 27, Washington State 27. You've got everybody spread out. There's nobody in the middle of the field. The quarterback sees it. You got one-on-one -on -one down the middle of the field. Short, quick throw. You've got some speed. And Stallworth, who is the cousin of the uh, former Pittsburgh Steeler uh, wide receiver, John Stallworth. Well, if they hadn't made all those mistakes in the first half, you might have a totally different thing. But at least they're leaving now at 27. And for this is Sean Wills at the goal line. And he's one man away from really breaking it big. That one, you need a score on this drive. Just take your time. That's Brian Brown carrying for UCLA. And a solid lick on the line. Third quarter is over. Both these Washington teams have been a problem for UCLA this football season. We've got 15 minutes to go in this one. We pick up the action early in the fourth quarter with UCLA and Washington State tied at 27. The Bruins have the ball, third down and eight from the Washington State 44. Aikman with a deep drop, comes it down the middle, pass is caught by Reggie Moore, having a big day, first down. We've got three good ones, we've got to give them some playing time. This is Brown breaking it big. Brian is down inside the 15-yard line. 13 have gone to wide receivers and seven to the tight end. Brown's got it. Caught from behind as he tried to go to the outside. Now the Bruins are trying to regain the lead. They led at halftime 20 to 6. Aikman incomplete. That includes feet. To be perfectly honest with you. Third, uh, third down and eight. Aikman, good protection, and the pass incomplete. Arbuckle was out there. Velasco, 30-yard field goal try now to give the Bruins the lead. 
Plenty of leg, and it's good. At 11.39 to go in the ball game, the Brewers are back on top by a score of 30 to 27 as Velasco hits the 30 yard field goal. We rejoin the action with 8 minutes 30 seconds remaining in the game. UCLA still leads 30 to 27 over Washington State. But the Cougars have the ball on the Bruins 42 yard line, first down and 10. Rosenball back. Wants to go down the middle and nobody there. Now it takes off. And that's a penalty flag. He gets his first down on that when he did in the first half. And it hurt him on two occasions. Rosenball gives it to Swinton. He's still turning. And on first down from the just inside the 23. And every guy that comes to town is all jacked up too, isn't he? Yep. They go back to Swinton again, and Swinton trying for the first down. 30-27, UCLA leading by three. 7-18 to play. Swinton leads again over the left side and gets good help from Mahalski and Husky. Swinton has 106 yards now on 24 carries. Rosenball keeps it. Pulls it down and takes off to the corner, and he's down to about the one. That'll be, I think, the first down. First and goal from the one, Washington State. Swinton, touchdown. My goodness, they made it look easy. And the Cougars have gone back to the lead. It's good. So the nation's number one football team with 621 to play is behind 34 to 30. The defense has not stopped with the Cougars in the second half. Hanson kicks it off high, hangs up there. And it's Brian Brown. Fumbles the ball. Washington State's got it at the UCLA 37-yard line. Recovered by the kicker, Hanson. His pride is hurt more than anything else. Rosenball and uh, it's against Washington State. That is the fifth time in the right now the Bruins have really got to dig in. The ball is back near the 42. And uh, the UCLA defense answers with a big play. Paul Carr, the loss is all the way back from the 37 to the 47 of Washington State. Huge loss. Pass caught by Stallworth. He gets back to the 41 of UCLA. Rosenbaugh gets it off. Down the middle, pass is caught. Good for a first down. You see it by 25. Vic Swinton is in there at tailback or the single back. And he's got some room. And he's down close to the 15. Bumbo ball rolling around, and finally it is spotted by Swinton, the eye of the running the back. It is third down and four. And 34-30, the Cougars lead. Rosenbaugh to the corner of the end zone, incomplete. A lot more, more pressure. 36 yards. Hooked it left. All right, here it is from the 20 with Eric Ball back in at the tailback spot. And Aikman back with Rowe. On first down, goes to the tight end, Randy Austin. And Austin is up 3.05, clock running. Aikman back. Steps away from the pressure. Pulls it down and dives across the 35. We get the better part of six yards. We're going to get Mayo to the clock. Cut it off just in time. Pass is caught across the 40. That'll be a first down. You get inside that to move the chains. They save the time for you. Aikman. 
across the field. Hits his man right on the numbers. Just short of the 45 of Washington State. Aikman again. Sideline pattern incomplete this time. Aikman doesn't like the shotgun. One of the few times he's been in it this year. Intercepted. Yes. Intercepted by Artie Holmes. That time the defender went down on the grass and scooped it up. Intended for Mike Barr. The problem with the shotgun, you have to look down to get the ball and then come back up. Top of your screen, the middle, Artie Holmes, number 19, reads his eyes. There's the penalty. Of Six, first and 15, Washington State. This is not your typical ball control offense. Rich Swinton. Good day, a big day. Rosenbar rolls it out, goes back the other way, now gets a little help up the middle, almost dropped the football. And With Swinton in motion, they've got four wideouts, and Rosenbar takes off. They feel a couple of guys back to help. And the kick, not very long, and is going to take a shot at it. As a whole, one man, and they get him. He had one guy to get, and he couldn't get past him. All right, 44 seconds, UCLA has one timeout remaining. Troy Aikman steps up. They have no timeouts remaining. The scoreboard shows it, but that's wrong. Aikman down the middle, Arbuckle, the 10, the six yard line. With 36 seconds to play in the ball game, Charles Arbuckle. Aikman throws it to the ground to kill the clock at 32 seconds. I could throw it short if I have to. From the six, second down and goal. Incomplete. The pass intended. Pull him out to the right. Pressure, gets it off, into the end zone, incomplete, intended for Maury Toy. Here it is, fourth down and goal at the Washington State Six. Fourth down. Oh. Incomplete in the end zone. Incomplete, intended for David Keating, and Vernon Todd slapped it away and almost intercepted it. And Washington State takes over at their own six. Will go down as one of the most stunning upsets of this football season. UCLA cannot stop the clock. Washington State is not won against the Bruins in Southern California since 1958. But today. They have Washington State defeats number one UCLA 34 to 30.